Picture a world in which you can sit down on a bench in a lobby or a restaurant or a coffee shop and connect to the internet wirelessly through a beam of light, all while paying an eye to energy management and security. This isn't Star Trek, and it's not something that's going to be realized 100 years from now. It's here today. Electric TV's Dominic Geritano has our story from St. Cloud, Minnesota. Thanks, Tom. You're right. We're about to make history here on Electric TV because what you're about to see over the next half dozen minutes or so, no one has ever seen on film. Visible light communication is here. There are companies around the globe racing to bring it to the market. But LVX System has already come down the home stretch and they're crossing the finish line. This is their technology, an LED replacement for traditional fluorescent lights. And once they're installed in your building, it will exponentially increase internet connection speeds, dramatically enhance security, and if that's not enough, pay for itself with the energy savings. We came up with uh, the idea of transmitting data using light emitting diodes. So one diode can act like a high speed transmitter, uh, almost like fiber optics without the fiber. It represents a fundamental change ultimately uh, that uh, will impact literally everyone's lives in a, in a very meaningful way. If you were in a, uh, let's say, university lecture hall, you could slip that in and have a high-speed internet connection uh, extremely fast. How fast? How fast? You could download movies in just a few seconds, things like this. I experienced it uh, down in Rochester, Minnesota with uh, one of our customers when it was presented. And when I got back to my office, people said, uh, did it really work? And they said, yes, it did. It really did work. In these lights, because they have such fantastic bandwidth, we can place cameras similar to that on your cell phone. We can put audio devices so that a person can be paged in the building where they are. A high school, for instance, if there were a fire, literally you could walk out, look up, and see that the lights are red in one direction and green in the other, and you're instructed to follow the green lights, which will lead you out of the building in a fire. This isn't just a product that's too good to be true. It, this is, can be reality, and it was, it, it's going to be huge for our industry. But we can bring the integrity of a financial transaction to near absolute. The security within the light communication can be near absolute, and some applications can be absolute. Mike, uh, what, are we, what are we doing here today? We're going to take out a traditional fluorescent light fixture and we're going to replace it with an LVX visible light communicating light fixture. And what's different about this from a look and feel? Well, this fixture uses LED lighting. So we should be connected, right? Yep, we have the light fixture connected to the local area network. Now we will uh, take this computer and have it communicate with the light fixture in the ceiling. Let's pull up a web browser. Wow, there we are. We're now browsing the web through a visible light connection. Well, let's be selfish and go to electric TV. There we go. See if the video will play. Wow, unbelievable. It's an amazing opportunity for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers because uh, if you imagine refitting the billions of lights in this country, that is a fantastic undertaking. At that, uh, you would create fantastic number of jobs. I think we'll create probably about a million and a half jobs nationwide when this gets going and it's uh, a heartbeat away from it right now. They have training facilities. We're going to need that. They have huge membership. We're going to need that. They have the NECA members who can help us to organize. The union and that choice enables our business model. We're very excited to partner with LVX. This is an idea that uh, we started to hear rumors of quite some time ago out of our St. Cloud office. Our training facility that we're in here today is, is ramping up to be able to, to provide the, the kind of training and, and manpower that could be needed as these things go forward. So essentially it's calling through the internet to my phone. Correct. 
This is going out to the, the public switch telephone network. There it is. So let me answer it. Let me put it on speaker so everybody can hear. Since this particular light fixture operates with a direct line of sight communication, it's just the same quality you're going to get in any other voice communication. This is just voice over IP. It's going through the internet. Uh, the only difference is we're doing it through visible light. Okay, so let's uh, test it out, right? Okay, yep, I'll count. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. So could you hear it cut in and out? I just want to mention, like standing under here, the light seems, seems pretty bright. It's not any different than any other fluorescent light. It's actually, it looks better. Well, it's pretty bright, but this one is operating at 30% right now. I had the engineers kick this one up to 70% for me and it was it just flooded. It was, you couldn't look at it, it was pretty bright. So we're saving essentially 70% energy right now. Now what if the light's off? Does everything then turn off? Does it still work? Actually, we can make the light fixtures communicate even when they are not illuminating. We basically just turn the duty cycle down to the point where the light pulses are spread out enough so that your, your eye can't detect them. Sure. So it can still communicate but not illuminate. We always say if it's, if it's new and it's ugly and it's difficult, it's something that we want to be involved in. And this uh, meets a couple of those in the fact that it's new and different, that's for sure. And it's going to be exciting. You can be confident that any local IBW team can do this work and do it well, do it cost effectively and, uh, and professionally. We're coming out here with this medium um, through the IBEW. So the next step is really to just let it unfold. How it will unfold is up to you. If you're a building owner, city manager, or general contractor, and you're interested in visible light communication, well then contact LVX System at www.lvxsystem.com. Or you can contact your local NECA IBEW team. Just tell them you want to switch to this technology today. For part two of this story, check back right here on ETV in just a few weeks. We'll show you the manufacture and installation of this technology on a larger scale. Until then, I'm Dominic Caratano.